Hey guys, welcome back to ADSR Massive Tutorials. If you're not subscribed to our YouTube channel, get yourself subscribed, youtube.com forward slash ADSR Tuts. This is part three in the key tracking velocity and trigger random feature. I've been running this month and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this sound we have playing there, making full, quite an aggressive sound, but making full use of the trigger random key tracking velocity kind of modulators we have down here. So sound kind of changes if we play like a C3 or a C4. Or a C2, or if we do like a kind of hard key press, a lot of velocity. Or a light key press. You know, we get variations in the sound. So let's start off, create a new sound in Massive here. Let's get the sound together for starters. So in Oscillator 1, I'm going to use a Scrapyard wavetable has a really nice kind of quite aggressive metallic timbre and we're going to activate the format mode for that kind of nice format sweep start modulating that in a bit so oscillator 2 turn that on you can keep this as a square saw wavetable position all the way to the right so we've still got that sawtooth wave in there and we're going to take this down by two octaves as well and take the amp down slightly and again four man mode and maybe start the intensity control about two thirds of the way around and finally oscillator free we're going to use a sine wave for oscillator free uh, so we've got quite a nice kind of subby tone going on pitch it down three octaves So let's move to this filter section now. Set this filter quickly. I'm going to just use filter one, uh, low pass filter. And we can start with the first bit of modulation here. Take the resonance down actually, this low pass. So we're going to use this LFO to modulate the cutoff frequency of the filter. So click and drag the crosshair, this LFO. First modulation slot on the cutoff frequency and with the cut off frequency at full just click and drag up all the way around so we've got this modulation going on kind of classic sort of filter LFO to filter modulation but going to have a bit of a twist on it here so what we're going to do is we're going to use the sidechain function here activate this sidechain check the arrow to up and then we're going to use a velocity to control that side chain. So now the amount of modulation being applied to this cutoff frequency is dependent on how hard or soft we press the key. So if I just press kind of C3 note quite softly, I'm going to get none of that filter, LFO to filter modulation. If I hit the key much harder, kind of getting that wobble in there, which is pretty cool quite expressive sort of wobble I guess so let's set this LFO up a little bit so we're going to keep it unsynced for now and I'm just going to move this X fade curve down to the bottom so we've got this sawtooth wave in here and now what I'm going to do here is activate a classic kind of modern use of key tracking I'm going to use the key tracking to control the LFO rate so let's pull this rate down slightly so it's just before the R. And let's get the key tracking macro control down here and modulator here. Click and drag the crosshair to the LFO rate. And then click and drag up. Not all the way. Just back it off slightly so it's just before kind of like full modulation amount. So now, say if I hit C2. And hit C4, a kind of similar amount of velocity. C3. So what we've got is this sound that is, we're getting different LFO speeds depending on the pitch of the key that we press. And we're also getting different amounts of LFO modulation on the cut frequency depending on how hard or how soft we press the key. So what we could do now is add a little bit of vibrato 
to the sound and by default when you create a new sound in Massive we get this macro control on the vibrato so we can keep the depth as it is so if we pull up this vibrato macro here to about halfway getting that vibrato that kind of like a, an LFO on the pitch really vibrato so what we could do here is this is the rate this is the speed of this kind of like vibrato so could actually use what we've applied here with key tracking on the LFO for the vibrato rate so now if I just mute this LFO key tracking for now so we hear it a bit better if I play a note higher up the keyboard we're getting faster vibrato if I hit a note lower down on the keyboard we're getting a slower vibrato sound so again it's kind of matching what we're doing with this LFO here so unmute that let's just sort this amp envelope out quickly just back the attack off slightly so getting a smoother kind of entrance into the sound let's move to this first envelope slot here and I'm going to use this to modulate the intensity controls of oscillator 1 and oscillator 2 as we heard before they sound quite cool when these formats are sweeped So we're going to modulate those intensity controls, all those four-month sweeps, and use this envelope to do this and back the attack off, push up the sustain. I'm going to check the trigger zero reset box so the envelope re-triggers with each new key that's pressed and then click and drag. We can hold shift actually and then click and drag the crosshair of the first envelope and drop it in the intensity control first modulation slots there. And then let's just click and drag down so the modulation comes back to about halfway on the intensity control for oscillator one and a similar amount of modulation but it's coming around a bit further because we've got this intensity backed off so now we're going to get this nice kind of sweep on the sound And something which is sometimes overlooked a little bit on the envelopes in massive is that we have velocity and key tracking for these envelopes so we can actually get a velocity sensitive envelope so if I push this slider up here and maybe just mute some of the other kind of modulations we've got going on so we can hear it a bit better so just mute that key tracking on the LFO and maybe just mute this cut off frequency modulation so now if I hit the key softly Just only getting a sort of slight amount of kind of four month sweep on the sound. If I hit the key much harder, you can hear that four month sweep a little bit more prominent. And again, a soft key, just hear the vibrato really. So I think these velocity and then the key tracking, of course, will ap apply. You know, there's going to be if you push this up here, you're going to get more of that kind of like four month sweep the higher up the keyboard we play a note and we take the velocity off and then lower down getting less of that kind of envelope modulation happening so we'll just use the velocity for now and then let's unmute that modulation we had there on the cut off frequency and also the key tracking, let's unmute that. So now we've just got this. Quite changeable sound really, it's all dependent on the note pitch and the note velocity and stuff, which is uh, quite cool and a good way of just showing you how these key tracking velocity controls can affect the sound. And also we have these options for our envelopes too. So. Just kind of beef the sound up a little bit with some effects, some chorus, just to kind of like thicken the sound. Adds a bit of width as well. Can add a bit of reverb here too. Push that colour up. Density. Um, 
You can also, just to affect the timbre of the sound a bit, use this kind of phase mode on the modulation oscillator. Apply it to oscillator 2. Get a really gritty sound there, quite nice and aggressive. And um, the final thing I was going to show you was this trigger random down here. So something I sometimes do on the kind of pitch of the oscillators, if we hold shift, click and drag this trigger random modulator, and let's drop it on the pitch modulation for all three oscillators, and then let's apply slightly different amounts, not much. I'm not going to go any more than 0.4, so oscillator 3, just go minus, minus 0.39, oscillator 2, minus 0.25, and then go in the other direction on oscillator 1. So what this is going to give us now, sometimes you can detune these oscillators slightly by 0.10 or 0.20 and it just gives you that slight detuning in the pitch of the oscillators gives you quite a fixed sound. What we're doing with these trigger randoms is we're doing we're applying those same principles but it's kind of random so it's sort of fluctuating. So very subtle but it's just kind of helping it's, it's helping thicken the sound obviously a chorus thickens the sound as well but it's just giving those slight pitch variations and a really subtle amount of slight inconsistency which I think is quite cool maybe mimics more kind of like analog synths a little bit that kind of behavior so it's just quite a useful way of using that trigger random feature as well so Okay, so we can turn that modulation oscillator back on. And then I've just got this little MIDI sequence here. So, you know, a C3 note and then a C4. And then we've got some variations in the velocity as well, as you can see there. So, okay, so I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. I hope you found it useful. Any questions, please get in touch. Make sure you get over to our website, MassiveSynth.com. Tons more tutorials on Native Instruments Massive. And yeah, thanks for watching. All right, cheers. Bye.